All right, we're going to check out Joe Cat's. Oh my god. Joe Cat, here he is. Uh, crap guide to Final Fantasy XIV tanks. Um, <laughs> there's one for each of the roles. We're going to start with tanks as the first one. Let's do it. I'm going to learn how to tank from this. Let's do it. What up, warriors of fartness? I bet you don't have the slightest clue how to play this eyeball-melting anime game. Oh, sure, you probably know that you can beat up enemies by clicking on them until they die, but do you know how to find a static in your FC to help you prog uwu? I bet you don't even no. know what any of those words mean. So sit down, shut up, and eat your gizzle greens, because I'm going to teach you what thee mayhap not knoweth, thy noobliness. Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. Okay. I, li I like his glamour. Beautiful. Nice, nice butt right there. That reminds me a lot of the, oh, the awful Jurassic Park. You guys heard the Jurassic Park flute cover? It's painful. Tank. Tank is a person in the front lines of every group, leading yes. the charge to inevitable party wipes, which is because you are the most important person in the party, having slept. True. True. Wait, what is this? Me first. What Q times? Big HP bar. I am the mechanics. L coats and pauldrons. Yes. Oh, that's and in the, the front lines one. of every group, leading the charge to inevitable party wipes, which is because you are the most important person in the party, having yes. slap fights with the boss since everybody else is way too squishy to handle the puss-pounding patty cake. You'll never see Jimmy's soft puss boots pack. eyeing up the cloud of darkness with his 2x4 and scriggly tree branch. But how hard nope. can tanking be? Turn on your tank stance, do your 1-2-3 combo, and blame the healers when you die, right? That yep. sounds like somebody who needs their short Q privileges revoked. Firstly, tank stance, you turn this- <laughs> And those Q's gonna be even better! They gonna be even better in Endwalker. On to start gaining enmity. What's enmity? It's where you shout at the bad guys. Hey, hit me! They'll be paying attention to you so long as you're dealing damage. So you better be dealing damage and not just having a staring contest. If you don't, <laughs> then they're gonna start indiscriminately charging at the rest of the party like a dog in a movie theater. If you are the designated main tank or in light parties, the only tank. Oh, 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 yeah, whoa, 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 what is this? Look at this, actual info. The main tank, eight man party, pulls the boss first, usually keeps the boss's aggro. I think there should be two Gs for majority, if not the entire in a light boss party. fight. A light party, four-man party, where there's only one tank. I'm going to be honest. We are on the light data center, EU. I thought when I was saying light party, that meant that it was like a party with my data center. Because then it says like cross-world party sometimes. Like, oh, cross, cross data. But I guess not. I guess I'm an idiot. I guess a light party is just like, you know, it's like, it's like a light, light, like Coke or something. Coke light. It's like, yeah. Okay. The cool. only tank, make sure this is on. If there is another <laughs> tank in the party and you are the off tank, make sure that. Oh, tank that does not pull the boss and functions as essentially another DPS until additional tanking dudes are needed. This is off unless there's some oh, other bad guys you're going to pull. Okay. If you have conflicting stances with the other tank, they will chuck their shoulder pads at you. As a tank, you should make sure the bad guy's ass is facing the I party as often That's as possible, cool. as indicated by the bright, glowing, half-eaten donut underneath the target. This shirt. is so that if the bad guy sneezes, you're the only one getting down with the sickness. And also, if your party has anyone playing any jobs that particularly likes to clap them cheeks, you've provided a bright, shiny <laughs> spanking space. On top of this, as a tank, you are by Hydaelyn's <laughs> blessings horrible at dancing, which is why you should move as little as possible once you've got the enemy's attention. That Yo, way you got you can... gotta show though. You got you gotta spin him around though. You gotta show that you're the boss. You gotta look you I mean here's the thing. Do you look cool just standing there? Do you like cool just stand you don't look cool just standing there. Do you look cool when you're jumping around the place like a madman? Yes. Yes you do. Far far cooler. Established tank dominance, you see? There we go. That's the important thing. That's the main thing. Continue to whap the wumpus without having to chase down the bad guy's glorious booty. Just as well, because you have control of where the baddies are, you control how useful everybody else is. So if somebody puts down a useful AoE, stop fucking running away from it! Now that you have the baddies' okay, attention I and I are know in that a feel. nice cozy poking position, you don't have to worry about anything else, right? Ah, that's what I thought you'd say, you dumb fucking horse! Believe it or not, when you die, it's not entirely the healer's fault, just mostly their what? fault. That yeah. little bit of responsibility you have is basically- <laughs> Okay, why I died? Mechanics are unavoidable. DPS didn't DPS hard enough, obviously. He Healer sucks. Uh huh. My fault. This. That. Yep. That makes complete sense. So how sense. well you can juggle mitigation. What's mitigation? It's the buttons that make the bad guys slaps hurt less. That you sometimes press once a subscription nice and never Merle think about it. You ever wonder why Yo, you have several dude. of those buttons? Oh sometimes my. press one. Yo, that. That's uh. Man, that 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 Merle Whip painting really emphasizes, um, you know, her assets and how they are, you know, contributing to, 
you know, the assets, the housing assets and, you know, stuff. That's and a subscription Limsa, and never obviously. think about again. You ever wonder why you have yes. several of those buttons that all seem like they do the same thing? Well, that's because you're supposed to space them out over the course of a fight so the healers mm. don't have to sacrifice their entire mana that's pool and firstborn child to get your frail ass through the dungeon. Remember not mm. to bust your tanking load all at once or else you're going to feel a lot of shame when you're all out of juice and the boss still wants to go about four more rounds. Every tank also mm -hmm. has a press X to not die button oh, that can be oh, used oh, to... Oh, is that, is that... Oh, I didn't know that. So that's um, the boss still wants to go about four more. But I knew I knew that you'd space stuff out. So that thingy, I've seen that before. The thing that looks like freaking, uh, it looks like you know warnings on a construction site, like construction under uh, happening, do not enter, or like police tape or something. That's a tank buster. Uh, I've never, yeah, okay, okay. Every tank also has a press X to not die button Generally that can be used buster. to survive any devastating attacks. Or if you're a really aggressive paladin who drew every enemy in a dungeon ever and don't want the healer to hire a hitman on you. As for what your limit break does, tanks are thicker than the average Disney mom, <laughs> to the point your honky chonky donkey bahonky <laughs> extends to the rest of the party, protecting True. them from damage up to a whopping 80% at LB3. The thing is, unless you're a high-end oh, player, I've, yo, at I've LB3, never seen these. Protecting them from damage up. Uh, I've seen the paladin one. I've seen that. Yo, the Dark Knight one's really to cool. To a whopping 80% at I like the Dark Knight one. The Gunbreaker one, you know, it's very standard. The Warrior one's pretty neat. LB3. The thing is, unless you're a high-end player, you'll you're a high-end player, you'll probably be using tank LB as frequently as a good player rolls high on loot. Overall, you have four flavors to choose from. Punk, grunge, metal, and Christian rock. There's <laughs> What was the punk, grunge, grunge metal, and Christian metal rock. Metal and Christian rock. Yeah, okay. Yep. There's yep. Warrior for it big fits. axes, big anger, big self-healing, and if you like to do fell cleaves again and again and again and again. If you prefer more brooding than crooding, the dark... In Endwalker, you are the fell cleave as well. It's pretty good. Knight is great for doing your best guts impression. You get a huge ass sword, goopy black energy particle effects, and the literal best mitigation in the entire game. But it's balanced because they get the worst invulnerability button in the entire game. You but I think everyone gets the mitigation now in Endwalker, so it feels bad. Press it, and then it makes you die. They Endwalker edgy, is called a tank, but everybody nice. knows it's just three DPS and a trench coat as designated by the fact you get a fucking gun and your swings explode. But you have to be yep. a hardcore gamer since it requires a lot of cartridges. And finally, the paladin who tries <laughs> to pretend they're a healer and okay. caster, but only when the other healers and casters are looking. But fuck all that because the most important thing is that you get the motherfucking sword and shield, baby! Try getting True. behind this wall of holiness, bitch! Now you know I how like to play tank, bomber. you're welcome. Oh, okay. The fun thing about that is he actually did have some kind of... I actually learned some stuff there. <laughs> There's actually some info woven in between the memes. That was really good. I like that one. And scene. Yeah, beautiful. We just end on this glorious picture. That was good. That was good. Oh, he says D&D &D guides too. Nice. Cool. Okay, that was good. I enjoyed that.